derby, man. Um, tough, tough night. Started hard, both with the bat and the ball. Yeah, we, we just weren't good enough. Um, it's tough coming to a ground like this. You know you have to post a really good total, especially if you bat first. Um, and the way we approached that first six, myself included, I don't think we were as smart in the way we did it. You know, the way I got out two balls after Stella or three balls after Stella got out uh, probably wasn't the right way to go about it. Um, but that's, you know, you, you still want to take the positive options, just being smart about how you take that. Um, you know, so to lose those two wickets and then to lose the two wickets um, in the seventh over, I think it was, just put us back a step. When, you know, if you have wickets in hand on this ground, you can have two or three big overs and you can go from 100 to 140 in, in, in two overs time. Um, you know, so that, I think that was the disappointing thing. And the same with the ball. We we sort of had had times, you know, we, we knew we had to be good in the first six. Um, you know, they attacked Majib, um, which is they're the first team that's really taken him on. Um, you know, and it paid off. It could have gone the other way. We could have taken two or three poles in that first six, and then 160 would have been pretty good. Um, so, you know, it's just the way it goes. Out of both uh, group stages this year, which is obviously progress, but I guess on a night like this, it's not a time to really um, take those kind of positives because it will hurt, obviously, uh, obviously this defeat. But it is qualification in both white ball competitions, which you yourself, you know, you've been a leading player in in the white ball cricket over the years, and that's been a great frustration over many years for Middlesex. It is, and, and you know, it's it's pleasing, but it's disappointing the way we've knocked out of both quarterfinals. You know, we were 80 for five against Lanks in the in the 50 over, and, and over here we, we sort of just just fell apart. Um, you know, it, it, it is a tough one because you know you're going to get criticised as a team for you know especially at Middlesex for not doing well in quarter cricket, but to to compete in two out of the three formats so far we still have a chance in the championship if we win the last three. But um, you know to compete in two formats is fantastic. It's something different than what we've had over the last couple of years. Just final thoughts with shout over the PA. It is Durham on Tuesday. I'm sure Middlesex will shake this off quickly with a change of format as well. Yeah, we have to. We, you know, as I said, just said there, we, we still have a chance of, of uh, gaining promotion, but we have to have three good games. Um, you know, so it's it's about how much we want it here in these last three games. Because after a, a loss like this, and after a disappointing or a disappointment like this, people's heads can drop, and you can sort of just think the season's over. But look, this is a great chance for us to try and win these last three four-day games and, and celebrate something from the season.